Shalom and welcome to the weekend edition of the Daily Dose of Hebrew. Today we're starting a new subsection of Jeremiah chapter 7. In the previous verse, verse 20, the Lord had pronounced his judgment, which is underway. It's in the process of coming, even though the people haven't experienced it yet. And here he's going to be talking, the Lord is changing his focus a little bit and talking more about the attitude of heart that he really wants to see with his people. Uh, but before he does that, he's going to make a very strong contrast. Now, don't forget the setting here. We are at uh, the temple uh, grounds in Jerusalem where people have come to offer sacrifices and to celebrate uh, holy feast days. And they think that they're safe just because they're doing all these external rituals. Well, here the Lord's going to say something very shocking in this verse and in the following verses. Let's read it in Hebrew as we get started. Ko amach Adonai tzevaot Elohe Israel. Olotekem sefu al zavachechem veiklu vasar. So our usual perform, uh, formula here, prophetic formula. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. And then in apposition to that, the God of Israel, Elohe Israel, the God of Israel. Olotekem. Well, this almost looks like it could be a verbal participle from our noun, uh, 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 from our verb, uh, ola, or ala, meaning to go up. And in a way, it's actually from the same family, but this is... Um, this is our usual word, hola. If you speak Spanish, we're not saying good day to you um, or hello. Hola, which means is this is a whole burnt offering. And in this case, it's plural because you have the oat here, and then you have uh, you have a yod right here, which is what we do when we add a, plural, uh, a suffix to a plural noun. So this is with a, a, a suffix with a two mp suffix. So uh, ola is a whole burnt offering. So this is your whole burnt offerings. Now remember, these were offerings that were usually offered in their entirety upon the upon the altar. Uh, nothing was kept for anybody else to uh, to eat, either the priest or, or the people themselves. Everything was offered up when you had a whole burnt offering. Uh, your whole burnt offerings add. Now, what is this? Well, this is actually an imperative. It's an imperative, I-M-P-V, and it's a 2-M-P, uh, it's a cal, and we're missing something, you only have two letters left, we're actually missing a yod at the beginning, yasaf, yasaf, this is the, 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 the root of the, uh, the idea for the name, proper name of Joseph, may the Lord add another son, is what Rachel said, so this is the verb to add, and so here the, the yod drops off in the imperative in, in the cal, and, and he's saying add 2-M-P, Add your whole burnt offerings, add upon your sacrifices. So whole burnt, your whole burnt offerings is the object of the verb add. So uh, that's the way the sentence would read. Add your, add your whole burnt offerings upon your sacrifices. So this is the more, uh, zavak is more the general word for sacrifices. And once again, we have a, a pronoun suffix on, on a plural noun here. So this, is, this would usually be zavachim, and in this case, um, with, with the suffix, zavachim. So add them upon your sacrifices. This is, again, a more general sense for other kinds of sacrifices. And eat. Now, what is this? This is an imperative. It's a 2MP. It's a cal. Exactly as what we have over here. Only this time we still keep all three consonants. And it's from, obviously, the verb akal, meaning to eat. So an eat, 2MP. Eat flesh. Basar. Flesh. Now, the unusual thing about this is that, um, as I mentioned, whole burnt offerings were not eaten, and certainly not by the people. Uh, some of the other sacrifices could be shared by the people, uh, but, but not the whole burnt offerings. So what is, what, what's going on with this whole thing? Well, the idea seems to be that the Lord is disdaining, well, they're disdaining the Lord by their attitude of not, uh, of just trying to do the external forms of their, of their ritual uh, and offering sacrifices without their hearts being there. And the Lord seems to be saying here, well, uh, your whole burnt offerings don't amount for much either. You, you, you might as well go ahead and eat them uh, because uh, and add them to your other sacrifices because you're not making any clear distinction about what I'm looking for in the heart. You're just doing external rites without any sort of interior truth in your own hearts. And so it doesn't really matter. And the whole sacrificial system at this point, as God looks at it, is just a travesty. And that's what you're going to see uh, a little bit in the translations and in some of the following verses as well. So let's go ahead and hide our, verse, uh, our work here and look at a couple other verses. 
first of all, in the New American Bible, not the New American Standard, New American Bible, Revised Edition. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, heap, that's a good word for add, because you have the idea of your, of, of your sacrifices over here and you're adding to them whole burnt offerings. Heap your burnt offerings upon your sacrifices. Eat up the meat. Okay, so this is a, a very good translation. You don't necessarily know what this is all about. Why is he saying to eat the meat here? Uh, unless you stop and think a little more fully about what the whole burnt offering is all about. The NIV tries to develop this a little bit more. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Go ahead. Add your burnt offerings. So this is this go ahead is sort of a, mm, it's, it, it's added in there to show that the Lord's disdain for this. He says, you, you don't really understand what you're doing, do you? Uh, go ahead, add your burnt offerings to your other sacrifices and eat the meat yourselves. And then we'll see where he's going to go in the following verses. And I think the... Uh, Good News Bible, uh, today's English version, which is very clearly a paraphrase, uh, but I think they've kind of got the right idea here. My people, some sacrifices you burn completely on the altar, that would be the whole burnt offerings, and some you are permitted to eat, that would be some of these other sacrifices here. But what I, the Lord, say is that you might as well eat them all. Uh, now, this is not a translation, it's very clearly a paraphrase, but it's a Fairly good explanation of what's going on, especially when you get to the following couple of verses. And you'll see that uh, the Lord says, I don't even want anything to do with these sacrifices when they're offered the way you're doing. Uh, it's, a, it's a theme that comes back over and over in Scripture. It shows up in other places in the prophets and even Jesus himself will talk about worthless worship. People who honor them, honor the Lord with their lips and with their words, but their hearts are far from him. Uh, the Lord wants a sincerity of heart, and that's always the, the constant challenge to ask the Lord to help us have that kind of a humble, submissive, docile, uh, teachable heart before him, willing to, to listen to what he has to say to us. Well, check back with us soon as we continue this new section in the weekend edition of the Daily Dose of Hebrew. Shalom.